hello YouTube fans, how are you today? Well, thank you for tuning in today's blog. If you're wondering what I'm doing with this eMachine desktop computer, we're going to be installing a USB 3.0 to USB 2.0 adapter called uh, for this uh, computer. This already has a uh, built-in uh, USB 2, but I also wanted to try out the USB 3 and it's uh, compatible with this computer. Before you do anything with your desktop computer or if you're going to be upgrading it or installing anything, you should unplug it and discharge all the power out of it and make sure you constantly ground yourself to the case. Make sure you wear on those grounding straps you can see. I got absolutely no ground straps on me, and I also have some squishies, uh, liberalized shoes of some sort. It's not going to make a stack of electricity. Now, we're going to be installing this. We're going to go over the hardware and over the software and the next bit here and everything else. Now, of course, you're going to need a screwdriver. You're going to need your USB 3 hub, and you're going to need a power adapter. Molex uh, for this unit to work. Let's go ahead Set everything off to the side And open my case. I already took the screws out of here And then we move the lid And go ahead and discharge the system to see if it's any extra power going to the board or motherboard on the unit itself. Now, what I'm doing is I am discharging myself to the case itself. What we're going to be installing the USB 3 slot is right down there where I'm pointing at. What I do is open this, put that there before we don't lose it. Take out a one screw to hold this blank slot in. Now gently, you don't want to lose this little tiny screw. Little screw you definitely need. Take away this empty bracket. Now, don't throw this away. Do keep this as well. Uh, I had one of these before. I installed it. The driver uh, CD was bad and the, the cold was also bad as well. Let's go ahead and gently unbox it. Kill. Grab that. Put it out. Grab those. Put those down. Put the box off to the side. Now one thing you should always do, you can also install the drivers first, but I like to install the hardware first into the computer. Now this is your manual, your installation guide for the software. Let's see. Okay, show you. Okay. Uh, keep this in the safe spot. We're going to need that later. Get that off the site. Grab the USB 3 uh, cord here. Grab it by the bracket, not by the cord. Get a little closer for you. You can see there's the USB slots. Molex. And that. And gently insert it the end of the hill. It's a little fiddly. Put that in. Now remember that little screw? You put that off to the side. Now you can actually screw this in, in the place. That. Screw that down. Flip that over. Now it's time for your Molex pal. Find a Molex uh, power cable floating around on the inside of this computer. 
This only plugs in one way. Tuck that out of the way. Tuck this in here. Gently push that in. And just tuck the Molex cable out the way. Make sure it's not in the way. And uh, go ahead and put your cover back on. Don't screw it back on. Just leave it loose. And I'll be back. Welcome back to the installation of the USB 3.0 hub called I already installed in this e-machine desktop uh, computer and by the way uh, we need to now install the drivers for it to actually work like it's supposed to and you can see that's what we're working with you can see it and we can follow the instructions if you want it's not that hard you just have to click put the CD in and hit next but first of all we gotta turn the machine on to be able to finish the install of the actual drivers for the USB 3.0 and we're going to need a flash stick just to test it out to make sure it actually uh, works. Now, of course this is Windows 7 6 32 bit operating system. It's running on this uh, older machine but everything seems to work perfectly fine now why did i get a usb uh, 3 card because new technology is going to be required with a faster uh, usb instead of actual usb 2 now this does have usb 2 built onto the motherboard and also onto the front of the computer now of course, you can also update the drivers by going to the website, but i done that, but the drivers don't work from the website. We have to install it again from the disk itself. Now, it has fully booted. I'm going to let it fully boot up. And I think you can see there is a wonderful display and everything is going to work like it's supposed to work. One thing we want to need. Of course, my mouse. Okay, now, let's go here to control panel. And again, I don't think it takes a while to load because this is an old uh, machine. And let's see what we can find down below. You can see device not installed, uh, drivers are not installed for this unit. But once we install the drivers, we can now open the uh, DVD uh, drive and install the drivers from the mini disk itself. Now do be careful, try not to touch the disk too much on the back, that's the driver disk. And we'll just put it in the lower CD trade out and push the drawer in. Now what does the drivers do? It helps to actually put the drivers correctly into the computer. For the piece of hardware you just purchase and bought for to actual work properly. Now click here to open the file. Now this is a lot tricky. I'm going to go back to the instructions and figure out what I need to actually click on the right install driver disk. That would be this bottom one I'm clicking to. Until. Now this will take a while to uh, reinstall. I tried it before and it actually seems to work pretty good with this computer. Now you can use this uh, resort or you can use the USB 3 for all sorts of uh, different operating system. Uh, this is a uh, AMD machine and you can also use it for uh, Intel as well. Uh, platform. Now of course it's going through all its cycles. Uh, you can also 
minimize this if you want, but don't uh, click on anything else, just make sure you don't have any USB devices plugged into your computer when you're doing the actual install of the driver or software. Now, no no it takes travel, but it does does, if you kind of can see. But sometimes it will help if you can actually click on the little link down below here. And now we got to set up the wizard here by clicking yes, green, clicking next, clicking to the hard drive, and now it's going to install all the drivers for the unit it needs to work trap with to install everything else. Now we click next again. And hit finish. Now we go here to the control panel. Back to devices. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I guess it installed it correctly, I guess. Sometimes you may have to actually recycle the computer to reinstall the actual uh, drivers itself. But uh, let's go ahead and plug the USB in and see if it actually works. I don't know if it does or not, but we can try. And it looks like it seems to work. Alright, if y'all are brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, please like, please show, peace out, bye guys, well, hopefully see you in the next vlog, thank you for tuning in, and thank you for watching, have a nice day.